to 702. 702. Unplugged. The studio is filled with extraordinary instruments and of course artists that play these instruments because we're about to bring you 702 Unplugged. And today's performance stars one of South Africa's lyric sopranos, Pumeza Machikiza. She's here for a special performance on the 16th of March, courtesy of Mutsing Holdings. Um, It's lovely. It's absolutely wonderful to have you you home. Thank you. Because you're based in Germany, right? I am based in Germany. And I have never performed in Johannesburg. Can you believe it? Why is that always like that? I know I've spoken (laughs) to people like Gutlano Masote. I've talked to Priti and about this, several other artists about why... Uh, um, yes, you you have to work and ply your trade in the stages of the world, yes. but that there aren't enough opportunities locally. Yeah, I mean, that's understandable because also opera is uh, predominantly um, a European art form. Mm. But South Africa is really, really doing well. I think it's maybe the only country in the whole of Africa that's produced so many really? voices who are um, doing so well overseas. Mm. Mm. So I think we should be proud of that. I am. Yes. And you're from the Eastern Cape. I was born in the Eastern Cape, but I moved to Cape Town when I was about um, four. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I grew up in Cape Town, basically. And you also uh, studied music at UCT. I studied music at UCT and then I won a postgraduate uh, scholarship and I went to study in London. Mm Mm-hmm. And then I also was a young artist at the Royal Opera House for two years. That's like in-service training yes. in operatic terms. And then I went to Germany. I was invited for an audition in Germany. And I've been living in Germany for the past five years. This is my sixth year now. And that's your base? Uh, that's my base. But I'm, uh, I also have a base in London, actually. So I'm between uh, England and, and Germany. It sounds like a fantastic international global career. It is. We'll talk about this performance on the 16th a little bit later. But you have selected a number of songs you have an album out in fact i do are these songs that you cover um or that are featured on the album um yes i have two albums so some of them oh, from uh, the two first of one them and the are second from one the, the most album. recent one is arias yes mm-hmm. yes and um uh, this, one of them is from the second album so okay. they are both uh, they are all three of them are in my Albums. Yes. So let's talk about the first one that you're about to do. Which one is it, and why? Why does it deserve uh, a place in your in your collection? Um, the first one is called A Cloris. It's by a French composer, Han. Uh-huh. Um, opera is always, almost always, about love, and operatic songs are also almost <laughs> about love. Yes. So it's someone who says. Um, Um, I cannot believe if you really love me, I cannot believe that I am um, I am more than kings in terms of um, the joy and the love that I feel in my heart. Wow. Yes, I wish. Yeah, often you wish that you knew what was being sung. (laughs) But we have you here so you can tell us all about what the songs represent and what they mean. So, Pomeza, as you set up, um, you uh, will be getting into the music in a short while. Mm -hmm. Um, But uh, you're welcome to stream this performance, watch it happen live. I think it's a beautiful setup. We have artists on violin. Uh, You're going to help me. There's the harp um, and uh, the... The cello. I went blank for a minute there. (laughs) The cello. Right. So do watch this performance live. Go to 702 Facebook page and you'll be able to see it all unfold. 702. 702. Unplugged.
that was so sweet. <laughs> it, has a, it has a sweetness to it. And I often wonder how, as opera singers, you infuse the emotion and the story in your voice. Um, yes, you have to learn the language first. Yeah. And you don't have to necessarily speak it, but you have to know everything that you're singing about. So if um, you don't speak French, you have to translate your music. And you have to make it mean something to you. So, um, I mean, a very good singer, a very good opera singer, like people like Maria Callas, for example, they could make any composer sound as if they wrote the music for themselves. Mm. So it's not like someone else wrote it for you. So you have to uh, put a lot of imagination into it. And where were you when you, where, where, where do you go in um, that particular song when you're delivering it? I was in the room <laughs> looking at beautiful people. <laughs> That's a tricky one. All right. <laughs> um, let me tell you the feedback because, of course, our listeners can watch this performance live on oh, Facebook because okay. we're streaming it. And you look gorgeous, by the way. Thank Billy uh, Kerner says, uh, great at last, uh, keeping it live. Said, hey, happy to have opera sang live um, this afternoon. And Jacques Perks says, pulled off the road just for this. Oh. Just, yes, just for this. Uh, Trudy says, what a privilege, what a talent. Celeste says, you are amazing. Uh, Saroja says, um, oh, wonderful, just beautiful. Um, and so it goes. So uh, the compliments just keep flooding in. Thank you so much. Now, Actually, it's going to be better on the concert because today we had a rehearsal for like three hours. With the full orchestra. So can you imagine that now I am really, really tired. That's me singing tired. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and what people don't see is that you're quite petite. So petite. this, yeah, this voice and... I think I'm average, not petite. You are petite. Ah. <laughs> Somebody take a look at our pictures, please. So, Pupesa, things have happened to the extent or at, at a rate where you are now having your own solo shows. Yes, I do. That is, that shows a lot of uh, um, progression and that there is an audience that belongs to you, your audience, you've developed yes, it. Yes, I have. I mean, a lot in Europe. Mm -hmm. When I started, for example, I did tours with uh, a very famous um, tenor, Rolando Villazon. And uh, now I do, I do my own shows. I can fill a, a, a hall in Paris, which is nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Moscow. Mm. Or Germany, Hamburg, and, and and in other places. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And the first time in Johannesburg. What a travesty. Uh, people want to know where the link is. Just go to Facebook and then search for the 702 uh, page, and you'll be able to see it. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to see what's happening in Studio Live. Uh, tell us about the next arrangement. What will you be performing? I'm going to perform um, an opera aria from the opera Gianni Schicchi. It's called O Mio Babbino Caro. The little girl, okay, I'm not a little girl, but the little girl in the story is asking um, her father to go and buy a ring because she wants to get married. Oh. But she's causing, she's <laughs> between uh, pleading with the dad and also getting a little bit, mm, a yes, little bit Sulky mad. about sulky it. Sulky about it, yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, as you prepare, just a reminder that today's star in 702 Unplugged is a lyric soprano, Pumeza Machikiza, and uh, she will be performing on the 16th of March at the Lindor Auditorium, which is a fantastic venue, by the way, and she'll be performing with a full orchestra. Um, and under the guidance of Gutrano Masote, so she's in fantastic hands as she uh, uh, performs in Johannesburg for the first time. 702 Unplugged. Don't miss a beat.
goodness, jeez, uh, what was happening there? Uh, you were so animated. You were incredibly animated. And I think to have been carried with the artists that are playing right now, what the violinist did at the end there, I think I was ready to drop a tear. Aww. I was absolutely ready to drop a tear. <laughs> and I think it's moments like that that allow us to appreciate Yes. This particular music, Thank we don't you. often get to hear it. And you but know, boy, what? you just, moved, you moved our hearts. We just played together for the first time today. Wow! Actually, we rehearsed here. <laughs> so they are so professional, you see? That's what I'm trying to say, how professional they are. When I walked in, I recognized some of them. <laughs> Luckily, I recognized some of them. The celloist, <laughs> as well as the one violinist. Um, and uh, clearly, they are some of the best, some yes. of the best in this country. Yeah, now, um, we were just talking off air about your, your rise and your journey to into opera music. Yeah, You've been singing in choirs since the age of six. Since the age of six, yes. Uh -huh. I was in, we called it then Standard A. I think it's grade one now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I've always been singing in choirs, primary school, high school. And I also sang in church when I used to go to church. And, uh, and I mm. used to go to church. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we heard it. We heard it. And uh, community choirs as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so that's where the voice was uh, refined. Yes. Let's I hear from quickly from Joe. You can put your headphones on. Um, uh -huh. Okay. Yes. There we go. Good afternoon, Joe. Joe. Hi. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, man, you know, you know, you cannot make a man 60 years plus weep like you're doing today. Oh, Joe. The emotions of, of that lady's voice is just, just so from heaven. Mm. My mom has gone 60 years today and I, oh. I'm just deeply missing her. And, and that's what she's brought out in me today. Oh, gosh, deeply stirring. And I thank you mm. both. I thank you both, you bringing her in a singing class. Oh, Joe, you're making me weep now. I know the music is so soul stirring. Um, th I, I can see the picture hanging on the wall of my mum while she's singing, mm. and, and just a deep, deep, deep missing of my mum. But yeah. thank you very, very much. Sorry for the for the tears. No, it's uh, okay. Just, it's just a blessed voice. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for uh, sharing that with us. Wow, Joe, that's the effect of your voice, Pumeza. <sighs> And there's more to come. Joe, I hope that you are in a place where you can listen and acknowledge how you feel and allow yourself to feel what you're feeling because there is more of Pumeza coming. And thank you for sharing that story with us as you remember and reflect back on your mother. So what is the next one? This sadly is the last one for today. Uh, the next one is um, uh, a South African Zulu lullaby, mm -hmm. Tula 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 Baba. Oh, beautiful. And it's also in my first album. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one I sang just before this is also in my first album. Um, we all know it. It's a lullaby. Yes, yeah. yes. Cannot wait. Because there's also a, a view, definitely, that uh, we need more um, of our own take on uh, the very your songs we need to have them re uh, recomposed or to somehow infuse our own culture our own heritage when it comes to to local uh, opera so it's wonderful to hear that that's what we'll be treated to as the final song in today's 702 unplugged it's friday and that means it's 702 unplugged Oh, 
I have to hold my diaphragm <laughs> to hold myself. Thank Otherwise, you. I would be weeping right now. I think you, you transported us. I don't know where other people went, but it took me to my childhood. Aww. That was exceptional. Thank you so much. So effortless. Standing there with folded arms and delivering <laughs> such an impeccable, absolutely the definition of impeccable performance. That Thank was you. wonderful. Thank you so much. And you might not have seen, if you're not watching on Facebook, Gutlano Masote played the cello, which is also his instrument in this last song, um, and almost conducting with his head <laughs> because it's the first time they played the song. So that was also a delight. Um, it's one not to be missed. This was just a, a touch. It was a teaser, a taste yes, of the was. 16th. Of, uh, of March. So Pumeza Machikiza will be performing at uh, the Linda Auditorium, 16th of March. And uh, she's got two albums, Voice of Hope as well as Arias. It's not to be missed before she heads off to Germany. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. You made this Friday really incredibly memorable. Thank you.